How's it going everyone? I'm Ken from New Jersey Southern N-Track and Yankee Dabbler. And we are here with New Jersey Southern and Delaware Primo Inn at Wilmington Greenberg. So where we are now is the Delaware Primo Inn module called Seaford Loop. It's a representation of a loop around here in Wilmington area. Primo N is a newer modular system. It was, it's more freeform than N-Track and T-Track. Your module can be whatever you want, essentially, as long as you have the end of the module has to be the track in the middle. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Primo N uses Atlas Code 55, or, well, any Code 55 track, primarily. These are actually N-Track modules. This is one of our mountain corners for New Jersey Southern. And it's going into Mount Utley, which is an N-Track module that was more recently used in the Primo N layout up at Springfield, Massachusetts. This module is called Gold Valley. This is representing Alaska in the summertime. This module was actually part of a home train layout that it was taken out of and made into a Fremo N module. This is a uh, these modules were built by Fremo, Nebraska. They were purchased by Delaware Fremo in relatively recently within the last year. And they represent just an industrial area. There's operations here with the two line side industries. And it's a relatively interesting module just to put in the layout and start cars out. Here is called Airstrip. It's a similar story to Gold Valley being taken out of the home layout of one of the guys and put on a model. So these modules represent actual areas around the Bear Delaware area. And I know this because I've actually seen a train sitting here on this module before. I think it was the only terminal heritage engine or something like that. With me. You coming out? Alright. Now this is cool. So this is our end loop sand hill. We use on sand hill. We use uh, DCC decoders to throw our switches. So you can hit the button here, find the number of the switch you want, type it in, and hit the appropriate button on the controller to throw the switch. 
This is how we throw most of our switches on New Jersey Southern and on the Fremo side. Sand Hill was recently built within the last two or three years and has reached a good stage of completion at this point. There's still more to do, there always is, but it looks a lot better now than it did three years ago. This module is called Broderick Fuel. It's a two foot long module with a junction on it from this track to that track called Red and Yellow. This one's called Blue. They, this module was named after one of the guys in the club, as most of the modules are in New Jersey Southern. It's supposed to represent a coal dealer. The next one over here, this module, it's called CP Green. It's another two-foot module. This time it's going from blue to yellow, but the other direction. This one was built a lot longer ago. And this module has some building flats with relief that we put on here. So it represents just a, a small city. Yeah, I'm on blue. All right, what do you do over that? This module's, this module is called Hazmat. It's one of our mountain corners. It recently was daylighted, just like the real railroads. There was a tunnel right here that got, uh, that was taken out. It's called Hazmat because of this scene here with the Hazmat truck and the facility. Next up, we have a four-module set. This is called Falls. It is named that because there is a waterfall in the middle. This building right here was 3D printed by the guy who made the module. It's supposed to be a cold loader. So you run your hopper cars underneath, and you get you get a loaded car. These modules were rebuilt relatively recently, and as such, this section here is the only one that's left that looks like it did before. This is the waterfall area, the falls are back there. this module which is a key point of interest because inside this tower here there's a camera that you can see up top over there sometimes this camera feed is live streamed to YouTube's New Jersey Southern and track channel but for now it's just here at the show the camera is located in the tower and it's essentially just the big window on this side. The building in the foreground was 3D printed. And this here is the loader and mountain end. It, the coal loader comes off in sections to, for transport. And this is the mountain end. This was our original, well, one of the older end loops that we had that Sand Hill was based on, at least the footprint. This one's been around a while, works really, really well, and was re scenic recently.
at the New Jersey Southern and Delaware Primo in combined layouts. Hope you enjoyed and see you again soon.